Michael sent me over this three star industry windshield. Oh. Yeah. Don't be getting all excited because it ain't for you or Ronnie. Okay. It's for a buddy of mine when we go riding at the park next weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be, this ain't for you or Ronnie. Okay. No. Hands off. Main Street Cycle sent this to me so I can give it to a buddy of mine. And we're, we're probably going to even install it for him, too. Well, that's nice. And nobody can... I can't... I'm not doing a video on it or anything until after we get there because I don't want nobody to know what this windshield looks like or mm -hmm. who it's for or anything because it's a secret. Gotta be a surprise. And in these, Main Street Cycle hooked me up on these. Remember when we was at that park the other day or the other week and I bent... My knuckles all yeah. up because you were driving all crazy. Oh, me. Yeah, you. No. You were driving uh, nuts with uh, Main Street Cycle. They sent me out these hubs. Awesome. Both of them, left and right, so I can replace them. But I think before I replace these, I think we're going to gusset these suckers up with some of that metal I got back there. And I'm going to get out my hot glue gun and we're going to put that stuff on there. And then we're going to paint them all up, probably paint them orange, make them match the side by side. Good idea. What I'm thinking we're gonna do, and then the other ones I don't know if they're fixable yet or not. I, I don't. I doubt it, so I don't know. But yeah, Main Street Cycle hooked me up. Good price on this stuff, so you can't be mad. And this is for a good buddy of mine. Okay. Don't be mad at me. I'll, I'll let it slide. Don't be mad at me. I won't be. But what are you doing? Recording me too? You set this up, didn't you? <laughs> you set. I may have. You set this up. You knew I got these boxes today. You knew they were sitting out there on the front porch. And you put the camera out here so you could catch me dragging them in here. Uh, if you'd have been a good wife, you'd already had this stuff drug up. You better stop where you started. I'm going to the doghouse. I'll, I'll see you later. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today starts the episodes where we turn... A CF Moto Z Force 500 Trail into a 500 EX. That's right. We made an order with Main Street Cycle and they have everything I need on the way. So within the next couple of weeks, I should start receiving all the parts and bushings and everything that we need. This is going to be a build series, but it's also going to be a how-to series. And inside the how-to series of this build, you're going to get how to change out these bushings in your control arm because these bushings are actually uh, stuck and seized in here. So we're going to show you how we're going to have to fight these out of here. We're also going to paint these pink. I'll probably do it off camera, but we're going to clean these up and we're going to paint these pink to go on my wife's side by side. Also, we're going to show you how to change inner tie rod ends. That is the tie rod end that goes onto your rack and pinion. So those of you who don't know how to change those, you may need to change one eventually. So we're gonna have a how to change those within this series. We're also gonna show you how to replace your brake lines because we have to replace the brake lines and make, get longer lines and we're gonna have to bleed the brakes. So that there will be that video also. We're also gonna show you how to change out your front and rear axles within this build. And I'm sure I'm missing something, but there's gonna be quite a few how-to videos within this video. And on my wife's 500 trail, the one of the front axles is screwed up. I don't know which one yet, but we're gonna maybe dig into that after the build is done, maybe dig into that and see if it's fixable, an easy fix, or if it's just we got to throw it away. We'll probably play with that at some point in time. And also, I want to mention that these videos are going to take a little bit for me to do, but we're going to get them done within a couple of months time. So I hope you guys stay tuned and watch. Today's episode starts the video on how to get these bushings out of here and fight them now in my video series 
when I put the high clearance arms on my side by side, these are the stock arms that came off of my 800EX. And as most of you guys know that you watched, we had to cut these off the machine. Chances are your front A arms are seized up. The rear ones don't seize like the front ones do, but chances are they're seized up. And if they are, you should refer to those videos on how to get these off without ruining anything. And honestly, it only takes about five minutes with the grinder. This is the hard part, getting these beat out of here and so we can get those off. Okay guys, without further ado, let's get into this video. So guys, you're gonna wanna get a punch set and a hammer, preferably a bigger hammer than this, but I forgot my good hammer at work. see this steel shaft is coming right out she's almost out of there boys our punch is down in here let's grab another punch and go right on top of it There we go, boys. Once you get this shaft out, it's junk. You can throw it away. Your punch will still come out. Now, you have to get these out of here. Those can be a little bit more trickier. Well, they will break off just like so. broke off okay guys so what i'm going to use is a 916 socket because it fits in here real nice and an extension for me to hold it and whack on i'll have to whack the dog pits out of it actually we could use this big hammer That's what your worn out junky OEM stock bushings look like. And that and make sure you use an extension you don't care about too much. This is a lifetime warrantied extension. So we'll be getting it replaced after this job. And there you go. All clean in the hole. There you go. They get tight in there, don't they? All right, guys. There you have it. That's how you get your old bushings out of your A-arms so you can put the new ones in. I've heard a lot of people say they cut them out. Listen, that was pretty easy. Only took us a few minutes, literally. And they were seized in there pretty good. But now you just learned how to do that. And I hope you guys like the video and I've earned your subscribe and hopefully you'll tune in for the next one. And if you need any parts for your buggy, make sure you give Main Street Cycle a call. Them guys are super awesome and they've been supporting me along the way and it's just awesome. 
to work with them guys. So hopefully if you need anything, you'll keep them in mind. Peace out. And God bless. We'll see you in the next 